talking about uh, business pattern roles so we have a, a specific uh, way to uh, identify the business that we can we can determine the uh, uh, subset of all the data available to the to the information i just highlighted the very few uh, business roles here we have uh, more on more on that but i uh, just highlighted very few so basically the customers uh, customer if you want to extend the customer so basically we have two roles which is for company code specific and also sales area specific say example uh, if you want to extend the a business partner to only company code then you we have to use flcu00 and if you want to extend only for the sales area then it's going to be 01 but basically we used to uh, extend to both uh, both the uh, transaction which is basically we use uh, XK, X, xd and fd right so those roles determines the company code information and also sales here information likewise we have for vendor we have a specific roles to company code and specific roles to business uh, purchasing organizations and also we have a specific roles for employee because employee in business partner liberated as a business uh, uh, contact person so where he can act as a sales contact person also he can access buyer for the for the for the internal activities and as well for the for the external parties so he can act as a of, of in and around of all the business and mainly we have a plant can be created as a business partner where we can assign the vendors and customers to the plant and we can we can do the changes in single shot where it can it, it can it can replicate to both vendor and customer as well whereas in in our traditional erp we have a uh, customer and vendor at, as different objects right so basically we have a general and finance and sales and also we have a, a separate uh, transactions called as uh, xd xk and xd01 0203 so those became an absolute and those has been captured as a roles in uh, s4 for creating these objects we need a different transaction code which is bp so whereas we were using xd fd or xvd like uh, vendor we have uh, xk fk and mk01 so those is not required as of now for s4 because uh, even if, if users uh, try to enter the transaction in s4 it uh, system is uh, smart enough to convert i mean can transform to bp transactions so it will directly take to you take you to the bp transactions and uh, in s4 both customers and vendors uh, are treated as a business partner as i said like the same way we can also create a business partner for for banks where we can uh, hold the treasury management modules so we can we can use the number of functionalities in uh, business partners so as like in our traditional ECC system, um, specific to business, uh, specific to uh, transactions like general information, sales information, and company code information. So based on the roles we assign to the business partner, so the the views, the data views will be shown in the business partner. Where if you if you want to uh, extend the business partner to contact persons. So the the pertaining to the contact persons, all the relevant information, relevant tab will be shown. Whereas the same contact person can be act as a ship to party for the sales. So the again the view will be extended to the uh, pertaining to the ship to party. A single transaction where you can hold tons or tons of information pertaining to your uh, roles you select you have, you have assigned, and each role have a different view for the business partner basically.